Good morning, or sorry, I'm used to <laughs> I'm used to saying good morning here. Good evening, um, and thank you all for joining us here. Um, we're really excited about um, this week that we have planned, and um, some announcements. Uh, we are uh, just going to remind everyone that tomorrow at three o'clock um, in the afternoon, we are going to gather here at the church um, to put together all the different packages that we will be sending out to the Terra Center. And then for the youth, just to hold back a couple minutes, um, Pastor Kingsley would like us to uh, finalize some things for that tomorrow. Um, so anyways, uh, our first, well, we're only singing one song this evening, and it's Blessed Be Your Name. Um, so please join us. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through
Mr. Geiner. You can, we'll grab that later. Um, so we're gonna start off with a little um, prayer activity. So I'm gonna give you, uh, well, first of all, I, I want you guys to spread out into 10 groups, you know, just like a little like kind of cool. small prayer group we wanna pray with. Um, then I'm gonna hand out some posters and you just draw on it or like write some words, make a cute little like collage of things that your group wants to pray for. And then after we all play, play, pray for it um, separately. So uh, can I have everyone just kind of move into a group um, really quick here, and then I'll uh, um, hand out the posters and everything. We're aiming to be in cohorts as much as you can. We have uh, packs of colors. We have um, colored boards. So we're aiming to have, to make use of the cohorts. So if you are a family and there's another family that you typically hang out with, combine with that family. We'll work together to build something. And um, Mr. Ghana will tell us what to do, and then you'll go ahead and write up. We, what we want to do is to use our hands to be able to, to draw or to write names or pictures or events that you want to pray for. So you can get as cr much as creative as much as you can and put that on a board. And then after that, you can go ahead and take time and pray for it. And then at the end, David is going to pray for us. Did we get that right? Yep. I think so? All right, okay. So. Uh, so you can get moving, find the place that you are, the uh, family you are cohort with, um, and David is going to find you and give you something. Here's a pack.
All right, so I think right about now we are wrapping up. I think they're ready now, David, right? Mm -hmm. right. I saw some interesting pictures, man. Yeah? I, I, I think I saw some interesting pictures. Uh, does anyone want to share, like just, just hold up like their poster? Um, what did they pray about? What did, what did you guys pray about? That's a mount, that's a, that has to be Whoa. skiing. It is skiing. Okay, all right, okay. Um, what else, what else? What is that one there? What is that, David? Which Classrooms? One? A cat? Uh, school, I see a test. I see school again. There's a cat there. Yeah, I guess uh, Lily's cat. Yeah. Okay, 2021, praying for the year 2021, okay. Church? That church, okay. Oh, oh all right. The oh, youth, okay, the all right, to make a difference. Uh, what do we have there? Anthony, what do you have there? Eyes wide open. All right, okay, keep our eyes open. God to help us, to help us to open our eyes. All right, okay. What else do we have at the back there? Butcher and the tons. What did we get there? Can you see that far, man? I see uh, two stick figures. I... School hugs, parents, pets, grandparents. I see cats to be a recurring theme. There is a recurring yeah. theme going on here. Um, mm. Fortunate, revival. I see big words, revival. I oh. see another word, youth. Uh, per personal testimonies. Personal testimonies, okay, all right, okay. Small groups, okay. Mm. Uh, what do we have there? Steve, what do you have? Sherwood Care. Motivation, keep going, level up. Okay, okay. Uh, there's a reoccurring theme that's happening here. Okay, why don't we go ahead and bow our heads and, uh, and close up this prayer activity. Um, wherever you are, let's bow our heads. Dear God, um, 2020 has not been a very great year, uh, but we want to thank you for um, still giving us these chances to get together um, in a safe place and, you know, just um, learn more about you. Um, thank you for all that you've done. Um, all of these obstacles that we had to overcome this year have only been um, just a, a small blip in our entire lives, and we hand it over to, to you. We put it all in your hands, and... Um, you know, hopefully, maybe next year will be a better year, maybe not. Um, but we all know that it's part of your will, God, and um, we know that you're in control. And um, if that's the only thing keeping us going, then let it be, because um, we definitely need some sort of reassurance at this time. Um, thank you again for letting us congregate um, and help uh, the rest of the weekend and next weekend to um, be great. Amen. 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 After our theme song, oh, okay. the next voice that you'll hear is of His Excellency Ethan Wootsky. I believe Ethan was born for this day, November 21, 2020, a day before my birthday. I will remember this day. I do believe that God has a word for you. God has a word for us. And hey, let the roof come down, man. Good afternoon. Okay, you know the drill. <laughs> Sing along for the chorus. Oh, sure, stand. <laughs> Why not?
What if we start right here with our hearts Making a difference doesn't have to be that hard Or what if we fight instead of hide And speak what's on our minds We could change somebody's life Oh, it starts with you Just make that change. Uh, good evening, church family. So, today I will be preaching about making a change. Making a change is very important in both our spiritual lives and our personal lives. Because without making a change, you either will not get closer to God or you won't stand up. These are both very important and they therefore create amazing opportunities in your journey called life. Joshua 1.9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. God wants all of us to act godly and have good willpower. And he wants us to bring this into our own everyday lives. God is extremely powerful, and he will do miraculous things to help a person reach an end goal. He will even help someone or even be an agent of change to therefore help you. So, now let's talk about Jonah. All right. God called Jonah to change drastically throughout his life because he was diso- disobeying God's plan. Jonah learns from his mistakes after God punishes him, and he therefore does what he is told. God in the story of Jonah is shown to be loving, merciful, and pursuing towards him. And by the way, God acts towards Jonah. He acts the exact same way towards us. This is why we should strive and desire to have a closer relationship with God himself, although sometimes we push him away and disobey Jonah was given a second chance because he was possessed with worldly reasons on why not to go preach to the Ninevites. Jonah 4.1 says, But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was angry. What displeased Jonah, God did. And now a showcase of his grace, mercy, love, and kindness from Jonah 3.10. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the disaster that he had since, or had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. 
Jonah knew God's grace, although he chose not to follow it because he believed in far more selfish worldly plans. Both nationalism and racism were far more important to him. Jonah then, seeing what God would do for them, Jonah settled for his views rather than to see a cosmic worldview. Humanity is very weak. Without adapting and changing, we are nothing. Just like our most primal state. The same happened today. One must have willingness to adapt to therefore survive. And if he does not, then he will die. Man is very weak, and by being weak, we researched, learned, and experimented to become the race we are today. The highest on the food chain. We are slowly breaking limits never thought to be broken, such as landing on the moon, modern medicine, and various other scientific breakthroughs. Uh, the exact same thing happens in our culture as a whole. Today, we must adapt to survive, but in a far different way, social survival. Rather than fighting for food and water to keep us alive, we are fighting for our mental needs, such as love and attention. Christianity has a, as a whole is adapting and overcoming things to therefore make sure it keeps afloat in today's society, where numerous questions are asked which may have numerous or no good answers. And to make a change, we must adapt. We must adapt to the point to where we stand out. Um, to where we are leading the crowd rather than being a part of it. As Christians, we need to stand out, just like Jonah did after making some changes. It took some time, but after he had figured to focus on, the, or on God, he realized that there are far more precious materials than silver and gold. All right, and here's a little story. A young man was walking down a, desert, a deserted Mexican beach at sunset. As he walked along, he began to see another man in the distance. As he grew nearer, he noticed that, that the local kept leaning down picking something up and throwing it out into the water. Time and time again, he kept hurling things out into the ocean. As he approached even closer, he noticed that the man was pick, picking up starfish that had washed up to the beach, and one at a time, he was throwing them back into the water. He was puzzled. He approached the man and said, Good evening, friend. I was wondering what you were doing. I'm throwing these starfish back into the ocean. You see, it's low tide right now, and all of these starfish have been washed up onto the shore. If I don't throw them back into the sea, they'll die up here from lack of oxygen. I understand, my friend replied, but there must be thousands of starfish on this beach. You can't possibly get to all of them. There are simply too many. And don't you realize this is probably happening on hundreds of beaches all up down and down the coast? Can't you see that you can't possibly make a difference? The local smiled bent down and picked up yet another starfish. And as he threw it back into the sea, he replied, made a difference to that one. Making a difference can be as simple as smiling towards someone, opening a door, or even having a level chat with someone. Life isn't simply about food and water. That's, that is what's called survival. And we don't want to just survive. We want to thrive. We want to advance and to become better. Life is about creating new ideas, creating experiences, loving one another, and so much more. We live on food and water, but we also must live with the spirit in our hearts. It will push us to not only strive for goodness, but it will push us to make a difference. Matthew 20:40 says, the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. We must treat the least, the outcasts, the ones who act far differently than anyone else, just like we would treat any one of our friends. Jonah preached to people who are far different from him people who believed in a god named Ishtar. Obviously, this would cause discomfort because there's a large population who would not believe what Jonah had to say. Jonah was most likely fearful for his life because he would most likely be persecuted by the Ninevites if they didn't like what he had to say. Our lives can just be like that, but in far different ways. People are scared to say what they truly have to say. So this, could, this is also called su social suicide. To elaborate, social suicide is where your true thoughts, ideas, Actions and feelings are shown by yourself. But rather, people don't like them, and therefore you lose friends, acquaintance, acquaintances, and even family. The fear of dying alone is very common, a scary thing, and is associated with social suicide. Although, in today's world, henceforth like Jonah, we must differ from him, so that we therefore change our way of thinking and our actions. We must differ from Jonah by not following his path, but rather following God's commands. This will make a person stand out, and that's what Christians are trying to do after all. If we stand out, 
we will thus find a way to make a difference. Thank you. And a final prayer. Dear Lord, uh, thank you for this day. Um, there's a lot going around in the world and a lot of bad things. Uh, COVID has definitely riddled around and has made a lot of lives more difficult. And a lot of people have gotten hurt and injured from it. Um, please help everyone who has been affected by it to be healed and get back to their normal health. And please help everyone just in their day-to-day -day, day lives to heal. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, everybody.